Welcome back friends. If you see me for the first time, I am glad on here. I make fashion and lifestyle content. We will be doing transitional outfits from spring to summer. I hope you enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. So basically with my first outfit, I'll be styling this dress. I just recently purchased this dress from Meet Velvet. I really love the this dress. I just love the color. I thought it's very subtle. It's giving me the animal vibe print and it just really is lovely so just in case you don't know meet velvet if you don't live in the uk is a high street brand in the uk but the cloth that they sell is more sustainable and it's very durable so i do really like investing a little bit of money with their pieces because i have i have some pieces that i've worn for so long and i'm still using them so capital per wear typically is really is quite good so and um the material of this dress is a little bit like a netting material so it's not too heavy and um, the body aspect up to my bum down a little bit is a bit line so I really like it so my arm and you can see from the last tear the fray at the bottom is not lined so it's a little bit exposed like that just for you to know but I just really I don't I didn't feel vulnerable when I put it on and um, just to kind of tie the look together, then I thought because the weather is still a bit chilly here in the UK, especially in the morning at, at the moment in the UK, it's still a bit on a hot side. Then I thought I'm just going to put my leather jacket and the leather jacket is from Whistle. And I thought I'm just going to tie it like with my necklace as well. It really goes with the zip, the button of, of this um, leather jacket. So this is the reason why I went with silver accessories. And I love the trainers, the way everything just tied together. I think I just really love it. So with my next look, this shirt is from Zara. I bought it last year from Zara. It's a satin um, shirt. I just really love like the cream or champagne color of this um, shirt. It's really lovely. It goes with a lot of my pieces as well when it comes to like um, shorts and trousers like this. It's incredible. And the trouser is from Weekday or Weekend. One of these two, one of the brand. I always model the names up. So I just really love this slashy trouser. I I just this is like oversized it's not my size i just went for a bigger size because i was just looking for something that's a little bit baggy on me because when it comes to spring i don't really uh, come into a uh, summer i don't really like like uh, for example like skinny trouser anymore i really do go off skinny trouser so just for the sake of this uh, outfit i was putting together i went with my ankle boots because i just really love the heel of this ankle boots it just make everything really goes and uh, lovely especially in the mornings to be honest with you i wish i could take like extra shoe with me when i'm going out i would definitely take it so to swap it afterwards but this ankle boot is just um really amazing it just kind of tie all the looks together and i put a jumper there just in case i need more layer Probably. so it's very very handy i always do this all the, all the time so yeah let me know what you think of this uh, outfit that i have started here so with this next look guys i use the base layer like the base i used in the previous one here so what i simply did i just took my um jacket my tweed jacket and put it just in case you go into the office you want to look a little bit more on a smart side and you know what this is not bad at all so i tried putting on my jumper like this hmm, at the end i thought the black was just a little bit you know there's like black in the pocket in the in the wrist area i thought it was just a little bit too much that um, i took it off again i think just going like this is amazing but if you want to take extra you can still push it to be honest with you because this weather is completely messed up sometimes here in the uk because it's like off and on off and on so i always like taking extra with me because you don't know when the especially when the sun is gone is absolutely cool you know so let me know what you think of this one so with this next look i thought i'm just going to play with everything beige with this one so this jeans i think i bought it two years ago from zara i don't even know the reason why i kept these jeans because at the end i really do struggle to style these jeans I really do struggle because at the top it's quite fitted it's not skinny that the bottom is all kind of um, tip in is like it's a little bit flare and the flare is so tiny so sometimes i don't even know what to wear should i wear trainers or should i wear flat i don't like it's just one trouser that 
the reason why I kept it, I have no clue. And um, yeah, basically, the style, I don't think the style is for me, for me really. If it, the flare was a bit flary, I would have even loved that more because I could wear sandals that or high heel platform that would cover the 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 shoe i i like things like that so it's just a huge mistake so i thought i'm just going to style it with my heel like this because that's one thing i could think about you see what i mean and it had like a cut in the inside i don't even understand why that cut is there so the top is from top shop and i put my uh, I went in with my little jumper as well with my handbag. To be honest with you, I'm not mad with this uh, combination that I've put together. I'm not really like I really love it, but you could tell from that jeans that it's way too clean because I don't really use it that much. But the way I have styled it like this, I think I am going to kind of use it more like this again. Explore with shirt, explore with uh, like baggy top on, at the top, and yeah. So basically, with this next outfit, I really love this trouser, except, in my opinion, I don't know the reason why I kept it, it's a bit too short, you know, it's a bit too short, but when I was uh, keeping this trouser in my head, I thought, you know what, I really love it, I convinced myself that this trouser is amazing, so hence, I always find different ways to style it, just in case you have one piece that you're not happy with, always find a way to style your outfit. So I thought I'm just going to kind of spice things up here a little bit, then I took this waistcoat, I'm loving the waistcoat trend that is in at the moment, so maybe on on the hind side, I should have left it without even fastening it like this, so I wasn't too sure, but I think it's just a little bit too fitted on me now. I should have just left it alone, but anyway, I took my ankle boots. So the reason why I usually wear ankle boots with this um, trouser, it kind of flow with it. It doesn't really show that the balance that I'm lacking with this trouser, because trust me, sis, I am definitely lacking balance, you know? You know, it's not long enough, but I convinced myself that it was long enough. Then I kept it. So the other, the only way I could get away with it is to wear like ankle boot like that, just to kind of make the whole thing kind of flow together. Then I took my blazer here. I actually quite like this outfit. You see, let me know what you think. Have you ever kind of um, kept like pieces that you've convinced yourself that you should keep and afterwards you start regretting it so with this trouser this is what happened to me i have to find a way to kind of make it work and this is one thing that i am doing because there's no way i will not make this trouser work i think it was the waistline that i really like that's why i actually kept it but do let me know what you think of this combination i'm so into waistcoat look at that waistcoat and with that uh, blazer it's just a vibe right <laughs> So lovely, if you know you've enjoyed this video up to this point, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, that will mean quite a lot to me. So now back to this outfit guys, I thought I'm still going to go with everything beige. So this vest I have on is from Zara and the trouser is from Reese and this blazer is from Mango. I have this man uh, the blazer for quite a while now, probably like three years or so. And the belt, I thrifted this belt. I love this belt. I love that it has these elephant details on it. It's like a golden details. It's just so beautiful. So just to kind of tone the outfit down, I went with my trainers and um, I just really love all the different shades of beige. And the, the reason why I went with white trainers is just to kind of refresh the outfit with my hands handbag as well so yeah this is the this is the final look would you rock this combo together like this let me know i wanted to use black then i thought you know what it would be better for me to go out of my comfort zone because the belt uh, the button of the blazer is uh, black so this is the reason why i thought i should use black to kind of snitch the waist in but i talked myself out of it once you with outfit like that you can always tweak it you can always wear things in a different way and it will always look fabulous Oh, thank you so much lovelies for watching this video as always I always appreciate you guys you guys are wonderful you guys are uh, marvelous to be honest with you if you know you see me or you hear my voice for the first time I am glad on here I make fashion and lifestyle content I do a lot of vlog please if you know that you're not subscribed go ahead and smash the 
subscribe button make sure that you switch on all notifications so that whenever i bring out any content you will be the first person to see i will say bye